Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Okay, this morning's videos are huge, okay? Big topic. Uh, how to fix espresso channeling, channeling for good. So, okay, over the years, um, if you go, okay, so this is more tailored to if you go on a Bravo Brista Express, okay? Not Pro Express. Not, you know, I mean, if you have uh, like high emotion like Bianca or Rocket, Apartmental, those machines, it's not applicable to this video, but this is more for you want to express. The reason why the express, because as you know, Bravo Brista Express has a 14 bar pressure coming from the grip pedal, okay? I mean, I tested over the years so many times. So this one comes with the 14 bar machine. So in the beginning, you're gonna get a nice pressure. In the end, you're gonna create a lot of channeling because of all the 14 bar pressure. Because the sock is all, you know, the puck is all saturated and waters go through so fast. So, uh, compared to the nine bar, not as much. If you have rubber Brista X uh, Pro, that's more like six to eight bar motion there. So they're pretty gentle uh, flow. But Express, obviously, if you guys own it, especially if you own it bottomless portal filter, you know the pain. All right, so this morning, I think the solution is the, the paper, okay? It's called, uh, kind of like going into portal, fil uh, portal filter on the bottom piece. So this is not new, te uh, this is not new te uh, technique, okay? I mean, it's been around for a long time. I, I even use, hold on a second. Uh, let me show you a couple of different papers here. Uh, I've been using on my lap of bony, on my lap of bony, uh, my, uh, the lever machine. Uh, John Kim sent me some, a lot of paper. So I put, whenever I use a lap of bony, I put it on the one on the bottom, one on the top. Okay, works pretty good. So, one of our friend Ryan from Discord, you know, he has an idea. You know, why don't we make paper for Brixa Express with so 54 uh, millimeter? Because I don't think anybody tried with the 54 millimeter on rubber machine. By the way, so this is so easy, easy to make as well. So, uh, in the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to make this. And uh, if you don't want to make it, uh, join us on Discord channel, okay? Ryan is willing to sell some of his paper as well. So, uh, we're going to talk about that later too. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some, uh, I'm going to do some demonstration, okay, in live. So, I tried a few times already. It works pretty good. So, anyway, so before this paper, I've been using all kinds of WDT tools, okay? I use the WDT, so this is the John. Uh, John's uh, WDT tool as well. This is a four prong uh, puck rake. So this is, hold on a second here. This is the four prong. Also, this is a uh, WDT tool. This is the puck rake tools. So this is my homemade tools. All uh, use the acupuncture needle. It's all the same. So one of them is look nicer because this is 3D print, just a wine cork. So I start with uh, WDT tour. I still got a channeling, and then I end. Uh, I ended up start using the puck screen. I thought it's gonna be help me with the channeling as well, but it didn't. But at least give me the clean uh, shower screen and dry puck. So it does work. Okay. The problem with the puck screen on the top, as you see, this is pretty thick. Okay. If you are using 18 gram dose, uh, depend on the, the roasting level. You might overfill the puck, I mean, you may put a filter. And you're going to put the top of it, guess what? If you put it in here and start making coffee, you are going to damage, okay? You are going to damage the shower screen. So, I mean, that's something you got to really careful. So if you are using 18 gram, maybe go down to 17 or 16 and a half gram to kind of like remedy that issue. So this one, again, you really need to be careful using on the top. So this morning, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, paper on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, I'm going to be using my bottom uh, built-in grinder. Again, the built-in grinder from Bravo is not the best. Okay, but it's not the worst either, because 
it's not like uniform like EK43. EK43 does an amazing job. All right, EK43 does an amazing job. Anyway, so I'm going to be using 18 gram here. And uh, let's make some coffee, okay? So I'm going to uh, pour back-to-back -back shot. So make uh, so let's find out if this thing is works, okay? So I'm going to pull two shots identical, uh, back to back shot, and see. Hopefully, you know, there's no channeling. Get our fingers crossed there. So here's what we're going to do. So I have two bottomless pour filter. Uh, one is IMS pour filter, okay? One is regular. So this is the Amazon filter baskets, uh, 18 to 20 gram basket here. IMS 18 to 20 as well, pretty much the same thing. I'm going to be put both uh, paper on the bottom. I'm going to dose out 18 gram each. So let's do a back to back shot. So if my theory is right, we shouldn't have a lot of channeling for both shots. So let's get our fingers crossed. I'm going to get the close up. Okay, here we go. So let's get going. So the thing about the, uh, this paper, uh, let me show you. What I like to do is I like to uh, wet the paper first, okay, just like so, just like wet it. I know some people like to use a spray bottle. I mean, if you are making coffee for your friends, make sure you use a spray bottle, okay. But if you're making yourself, I, I like to use my finger. Just like that. Put it on there. I'm going to do the same thing as well for this one. So I'm going to do number two, second one. Kind of like, I feel like I'm making dumpling here. Okay. Kind of like dumpling. Anyway, just put it on here. Just like so, okay. Looks pretty good there. All right, so I'm gonna be dosing out 18 grams each. So let's do back-to-back -back shots. Uh, so this is a Ethiopia, uh, uh, that's it, it's a Yagyu Chappi, I think. I think I'm saying it right. So this one uh, from uh, my friend at uh, Battlebone Coffee. I'm going to top it like so. I'm just going to get the, all the coffee grinds out. Okay. You know what? Even though I'm just going to use my WDT tool, I'm not going to go down. I'm just going to go top of it. Okay. Just be top. Just make sure nice and everything flat. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Everything flat here. So now we have the very nice to work with. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to distribute. And time. Okay, it comes to temping pressure. Just be consistent, guys. That's it. Just consistent. So, uh, first one is ready to go. So, let's work on the second one. Again, uh, if you are just joining us, welcome to live streaming. I'm just going to tap it like so. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do the exactly same process. So this is my homemade tools as well. All right, so we're going to do back-to-back -back here, back-to-back -back shot here, okay? Because sometimes you get lucky first time, have no channeling, but if we would do back-to-back, you know this uh, process work, this paper works. So, I 
I mean, over the years, I'm trying to fix the channeling for a long time. I use all kinds of tools and gadgets. So, I know some people use the, the puck screen on the top. I'm not going to do that, okay? Because not everybody wants to use the puck screen. All right, so let's go with, let's see here. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth, okay? I'm going to flush a little bit. Okay, the shot number one. So we're going to do one to two ratio. Okay, I'm still going to... So I'm going to try to shoot for around 40 gram. 36 to 40 gram. And then after that, we're going to do another back-to-back -back shot here, guys. Here we go. First shot, here it comes. So right now we are right on the middle there. I got 40 gram. Around just under 30 seconds. Okay, I got a little bit of channeling, but overall looks pretty good. Okay, so let's go number two. Okay, so this again. So this one is a regular uh, Amazon filter baskets, okay? So next one we're going to do is same. Everything is the same. I'm just going to flush. I'm going to I'm going to have the filter paper on the bottom. But this time I have the IMS filter basket on the bottom. Okay? I'm using the IMS filter basket. All right, guys, here we go. So my timer. Oh, I think this is about nine bar pressure right there with the IMS filter baskets. About 25 seconds. That was interesting. So we have two shots here. Hopefully we go, we're gonna get this. Okay, am I back? I mean, hopefully we are back, okay? Hopefully we are back here. So, uh, again, if you are just joining us, we're having some internet issues. So this shot, okay, again, have some little bit of channeling, but it's not too bad. Works, I mean, it does work. So this is the regular filter basket from Amazon. This is Amazon filter baskets. So this one, the second shot was, I thought it's pretty perfect has no channeling with, so this is just the IMS. So, uh, so let's taste. Okay, is there any taste difference? So at this point, only thing difference is the uh, filter basket, that's it. So I'm gonna start with a regular basket. Okay, sweet. What else? Very nutty as well, fruity, Let's see here. 
What else? Have some, uh, have some of that aftertaste. Let's try it with uh, IMS filter baskets. Man, it's, uh, it's me or is my imagination, but with the IMS, give you that more clearly. Man, you know what? Next time I should do blind test, okay? I, I think I should do blind tasting on this one because uh, I like the coffee with IMS for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. Man, interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at the puck, right? Let's take a look at the puck here. So let's start with, uh, so th this is the uh, regular Amazon filter baskets. Okay. Wow. Come right up too. Okay. And uh, again, you know, I thought having a puck screen on the top give you give me the dr uh, dry screen, uh, dry puck, but without the top, still give you the very clean puck as well. Interesting. All right. So let's give it a try with. Uh, IMS filter baskets. There we go. Let's give you guys a close up here, guys. So this is the regular Amazon baskets. IMS. That works pretty good. I mean, both. I mean, looks. I mean, look like uh, evenly extracted. Hold on here. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it out. Both works pretty good. You know what I have to say? Okay. After this test, I mean this paper works. I mean I don't know about you guys, but so far I did about what six uh, separate shots so far, back to back shots. Uh, yesterday I did three. Yesterday two. I mean two days back to back. Uh, very minimum channeling with a uh, regular Amazon filter basket, but with the IMS works a little better. Ha actually, no channeling there. I was using the 18 gram both. So again, uh, I'm gonna link the I'm gonna link uh, down below. Okay, what you need to get. I'm gonna give you guys a shopping list. Okay, here, here let me show you. Here here's what you need. I'm gonna flip the channel here. Okay, so if you go to Amazon. You can go with a, a two inch punch circle. That's what you need. It's about what, 16 bucks. And then only thing you need is the uh, Chemex paper. 100 counts, another 15, 16 bucks. And then according to Ryan, you can make 2,000. Okay. You can make 2,000. Uh, the bottom portion of your filter, okay, two thousand of them. So you, I mean, if you make maybe you and your friends get together, make you know, make some paper for you know you and your friends. You should last for years. By the way, if you don't want to make it, uh, uh, Ryan uh, at Discord, make sure join our Discord. Okay, we have a great group of the community, and uh, uh, I think he's willing to sell you guys some, and uh, you guys will work it out the price. I'm not involved. Okay. But you guys work it out the price, but yeah. But uh, if you don't want to make it yourself, I mean, just join our Discord. We have great resources on Discord. It's a lot of fun, though. By the way, we are doing the simulcast right now. We have we, got, we have about six people watching uh, from Discord as well. So anyway, let's take a look. Man, you know what? I sh I have to say, it does work. Okay, if you are struggling with uh, channeling on your uh, Bravo Brista Express, not Pro. I'm talking about Express because it has a 14 bar of pressure come down. Man, it does work. Okay. I bet you if we put the a puck screen on the top, it's going to work even better for sure. But yeah. Uh, comes to taste. You know what? I, I like the taste from IMS filter baskets. But just, just me, okay? Maybe I should do a blind taste next time. But... Yeah. Anyway, uh, I I hope this video helps. Hopefully, hopefully this is kind of like last step.
to you know having your good uh, espresso at home okay but the thing is not everybody likes filter uh, paper because if you use a filter, it's going to be filter out the oil. The oil gives, uh, gives you that kind of like, give you that body and texture on your espresso. So give you a little light flavor. Let's try one more time. Yeah. Give you that light flavor. It's a more cleaner taste. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put the link for the our Discord as well. So. You know, just join us, okay? Have some fun. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning. And I'm going to see you guys next time.